And just like that, my first term of my master's degree is over. After the last 12 weeks of moving to a new city and university, here is my final week of term. I honestly can't believe how fast it's gone. However, before it's time to drive home, join me for bottomless brunches with the girls, my last classes of term, and hours in the library making a start on my January deadlines as I try to balance my life as a master's student. After I said goodbye to my boyfriend Dan, who was getting the train back to Nottingham, I settled down in the library and started planning out my next forensics assignment. This was a 2,500 word advisory report offering recommendations for a new hypothetical anti-contamination guidance document. So I'm back now from the library. It's currently 23. I had originally envisioned me staying in the library actually a lot longer until maybe about like 3.34. But unfortunately, while I was studying in the library, a group of lads decided to sit next to me. And considering I was in the independent silent study area of the library, they just kept talking really loudly and like banging. Like I don't honestly know how they were so noisy. What was even weirder was every hour they kept getting up in unison to go somewhere and then they'd return like two minutes later. In the end I just decided to leave earlier because they were just disrupting me so much that I just couldn't focus. Let me know down in the comments if you've had a similar situation to that. But anyway the plan is now I'm gonna go and warm up my Greggs since I was supposed to have that for lunch but I ended up forgetting to eat probably because of the whole lad situation. I just didn't even think about actually feeding myself so that would be a wise thing to do right now. Afterwards I'm gonna then crack on with some more work and then later on we actually have a house viewing so I need to make sure my entire room is um, presentable for that. So I just need to make sure things like takeaway boxes and just random bits and bobs that should be in drawers are where they're supposed to be normally and since I didn't really have the chance to do that this morning when we were getting ready. Someone tell me if it's like the national holiday of like rowdy lads or something today. Honestly, trust my luck that on a day where I need to get lots of uni work done, I have loads of noise and disruption. Like, the universe is really hating on me today and I have no idea why. <laughs> Good morning everyone, it's Tuesday morning. The plan for today, I don't have any uni contact hours, but I do have a meeting at 10, which is in like 20 minutes. So I need to go with a lecturer who I would really like to be my dissertation supervisor. I've realized I haven't actually spoken much about my master's dissertation so far um, over the last few weeks. And the main reason for that is because I guess um, this is still very much the initial stages. They're not expecting too much of us at the moment apart from to start generating ideas and thinking about what we might want to research for our master's dissertation. The thought of it is a bit daunting because my dissertation for master's this year is 15,000 words which is double what I had to do for undergrad which is a bit scary but I have got lots of ideas that I want to pursue almost to the point that I don't know which direction to go down. What I want to focus on as an area is quite broad like there's so much you could do research wise and I've only got a year so that's pretty much what this meeting is to discuss my ideas and work out what's feasible and what's not and what's ethically okay because the area that I want to research is very sensitive but career-wise it is an area that I would like to work in one day so it would make sense for me to do my master's dissertation on it. I feel like I'm being very vague and the lecturer that I want to speak to today is a leading academic in this area here at University of Portsmouth so it would literally be amazing if she could be my supervisor. So yeah I'm now going to go quickly have some breakfast and then hop on the Zoom call with her. Oh my gosh guys, I've just come off the call of my um, lecturer or 
should I say, supervisor. Ah. <laughs> oh my god, it went really well, like a lot better than I expected. I was so worried she'd like tell me that I need to do a lot more research, but she basically said that she really likes my ideas, she thinks they'll work, that she's happy to be my supervisor, which is amazing because I really wanted her, like I was literally manifesting it. Like I'd already seen some of her research when I first applied to the University of Portsmouth at the time when I knew that I wanted to do this topic. So I was just like dead set on having her because I knew she'd be really good. I just, I feel so validated. Like I feel like I'm dancing on moonbeams right now. Like the amount of academic validation I'm experiencing is insane. Having said that though, I definitely do not have the time <laughs> to sit here and just grin about it because in an hour, I actually need to rush off. At 12.15, I'm going out for a bottomless brunch with the girls as a celebration of finishing our first master's assignments. I've got probably less than an hour to get myself fully glammed. So I'm gonna go do that and I'll get back to you in a second. One hour later. I feel like I look so fancy, oh my God. But as you can see, this is the finished look. I feel a bit more like myself. This is the outfit that I've gone for. Those who have watched my vlogs over the last few months will recognize this from when I wore it to the grad ball in the summer. I've decided to just throw it on because it's formal enough for like a celebratory like bottomless brunch but then I'm starting to worry now it's too fancy. I know pairing it with black tights looks really weird or at least it does in my opinion <laughs> but considering it's literally like zero degrees outside um, I'm too scared to risk it with like bare legs but this is the finished <laughs> look. I feel like I kind of look a bit like a Christmas present or something that you'd wrap a gift with but oh well I guess we're keeping with the festive theme. Ignore the utter chaos by the way in my room it's honestly a nightmare. <laughs> First drinks, let's do this. Woo! Oh, I like that. Big out with lemon. I'm gonna get pissed. <laughs> Quality content right now. Then we're literally in the dark. Hello. Hello. Science. Oh, hello. This is what we've had so far. Porn star rampant. That was a eight out of ten. That was quite nice. Mango, strawberry, strawberry. Oh, this is strong. I would give that a four just because it tasted like Robinson squash. So I didn't really vibe on it, but it was nice. Watermelon vodka fizz. Oh, that was alright, it was very sweet though. Mm. Like maybe a little bit sick. Yeah. Wait, what's this? This is yes. mango fizz. Are you sure? I don't know. This is a sex on the beach. It tastes is like it? a sex on the beach. We've still got mango Collins to go. Kawana party. Pink berry Collins. Passion Sour Bomb and Long Island Iced Tea. And then, if we're still alive, <laughs> maybe we'll have another one. <laughs> maybe. I have a Corona. I was not looking at the camera. <laughs> like we that. both were. <laughs> I was looking at some of that. <laughs> I once went to my friend's 21st birthday party and I drank all of the potato that was there on the welcome table. Oh my god. It's a moment that I'm very proud of. You need to eat your pineapple. Make it seductive. Christmas tunes. I'm not okay. We're on our eighth drink. Oh. Jackie, <laughs> Hello. what do you rate the last drink? This? Yes. It's disgusting. Well, well, no? What do you think of the last drink? A no from you. Dehydrated pee. <laughs> well, there you go for the science lesson. It's okay. It's not too bad. Should I like it? Yeah, do you not like it? Actually, I've had worse. <laughs> Shut up. Yeah, Gaia doesn't like it. Everyone pray for Gaia because she's gonna come home tonight and she thought she was going to her forensics essay. But she's not doing her forensics essay, everyone. I thought wrong. <laughs> she really thought wrong. Even though she's a productive queen, she's not doing her forensics essay. <laughs> anyway, adios.
Bye. Love you guys. Follow me on Instagram. <laughs> Update, I am very pissed. Hello. <laughs> How are you guys feeling? Why is she asking these questions? <laughs> My god. There's a delivery man ahead. Is that all? Oh. I'll say hi to the delivery man. No. The delivery man looked judgmental. <laughs> So right now we are done with our Bosmus brunch and we are heading to, oh, they are running. <laughs> we are heading to Slug and Lettuce for afters, I guess you could say. Yeah. Even though we definitely do not need afters, we are pissed. Oh my gosh, I don't even know what I'm saying. I've lost the plot, I think we've all lost the plot. These two ahead of us have definitely lost the plot. Where are we going? Up these stairs. And we have arrived. Yeah. Hey guys, it's Nicole. It's Jackie too. I ordered a porn star martini. And I got sex on the beach. Delightful, delightful drinks. I keep looking at them. Um, there's something called a viewfinder. Anyone who's um, excited about cameras will know what that is. I've watched enough of Zoella to know what a viewfinder is because I'm hip. I'm hip. I know what a viewfinder is. At least I think I know. Nicole, any input? No input whatsoever, mate. You're Boring. At least I give content. I want an Oculus. I give. What's that? <laughs> the VR. Oh, that big world. I want a VR headset so I can play horror games. <laughs> so I fall. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. There's a polar bear man over there. See the polar bear man. See the polar bear man. The polar bear man. I think. Anyway. <laughs> I got up early the next day for work and let's just say Guy was not feeling too good after that bottomless brunch but we persevered. Despite the hangover I was super productive on shift, I managed to get lots of different things edited and signed off ready to be uploaded to the union social media including an article that I'd been writing for the past week and two other TikToks. One that literally involved me running around the union like a headless chicken finding some weird and wonderful Christmas things. If you go watch the TikToks on the SU Instagram and TikTok accounts, it will make a lot more sense than how I'm explaining it right now. Hey guys, so I've just got back home from work. The shift went really well. Not gonna lie, when I was starting the shift, I was thinking, oh gosh, how am I gonna be able to manage today? I woke up this morning feeling a lot more sick than I expected. I thought that because we had bottomless brunch at 12 yesterday, that by today I'd feel completely fine, but that definitely was not the case. I think sometimes I forget how much of a lightweight I am, especially now that I'm so busy nowadays that I barely have time to drink and be like typical student. So then when I do consume alcohol to the extent that I did yesterday, I really feel it the next day. Oh, this is what happens when you're a good little studious student. <laughs> the plan for the rest of the afternoon and early evening is that I've actually got another house viewing today at five, which means I need to make sure this room is presentable. And I think it looks all right to be fair. But before they arrive, I want to get as much uni work as I can done. So I'm gonna start on researching for my next criminal psychology essay. If you remember correctly from Monday, I did technically start my forensics report with the intention to carry on working on it throughout this week. Um. After reading through the brief, I realised how confused I was to the point that I was literally just staring at it and none of it was making sense. But I do have a drop-in session tomorrow where our module leader is going to go through any questions we have surrounding the assignment. Instead of wasting any more time getting confused over it, I'm just going to swap over to my criminal psych essay since I need to make a start on that, which is also due on the same day in January. Thursday morning, I headed to the library at 8.30, which you could really see in my face. Jesus Christ! I decided on the early start as I wanted to make lots of progress on my criminal psychology essay. For this second assessment of the module, I had to debate whether psychopathy exists, which I think is a really interesting yet controversial topic to debate. I started off sectioning my 2,500 words into different areas I wanted to discuss, such as clinical definitions of psychopathy. Between my forensics and criminal psych assessments, I definitely prefer this assignment more as I've weirdly I've fallen in love with writing psychology essays over the last few years of doing university. After several hours in the library, I then left to head to my forensics drop-in session and then my 1pm dissertation lecture where we discussed our 3,000 word dissertation proposal, which is due in February, before walking back to the library and grabbing one of their candy cane pink hot chocolates.
I'm not sure about that dryer. I'm going to have a marshmallow. Of course. Do you like it? That's actually kind of nice. Are you sure? It kind of tastes a bit like an after eight. Oh. After that little break, I spent the next few hours in the library researching biological evidence for psychopathy. This includes brain studies that suggest there are physical differences. After a bit though, my motivation started to slow and I definitely needed a moral support hug from Katrina. After my long day of studying, I decided to take the evening off to relax and watch some YouTube. Personally, I love watching other study vloggers. Then I wash my hair, which is an obstacle in itself, as who likes to hop out the shower when it's freezing at night, am I right? And then I bought a few last minute Christmas presents. Oh, I feel like I'm gonna sneeze. Why do I feel like I'm gonna sneeze? Oh, no. Okay, I think I'm okay. Oh. Hey guys, happy Friday. It's officially the last day of my first term of my master's degree, which is honestly insane. Like, I can't believe how like fast the last 12 weeks have gone. I do have one lecture timetable for today, which is my three to five criminal psychology lecture, which is something that I always look forward to in the week. And I know since today is our last session with our lecturer, it's gonna be such a like sad but wholesome one. But before that lecture, I am planning to go to the library again to see if I can whack out as much as I can of my criminal psychology essay just so I don't have to do as much over Christmas. I feel like I'm always in the library oh my god. <laughs> I also need to make sure this room looks presentable because we've got yet another house viewing at 10 30 and I'm not gonna be in the house so I need to make sure this room looks okay. It's a little bit of a state but yeah let's go get the bus. <laughs> So I hopped on the bus and attempted to show you how cold it was through my breath, which yeah, I know looks well sus. <laughs> a 9am start in the library meant it was hella dead though. Pretty sure I was actually the only one in the quiet section at this point. As it's the last week of term, I didn't have any pre-reading to do for my lectures. So as you've seen, I spent the week solely on my two assignments due in January. I think I've mentioned this previously, but after they're submitted, I won't actually have forensics or criminal psych anymore, which I'm quite sad about since I've really enjoyed these modules. Then I headed to the postgrad suite to meet Katrina before being tempted to buy yet another pink hot chocolate. <laughs> Why am I yelling so much? I want my bed. Okay. Are you ready? Yeah. I, I, want, I want to see this in the vlog. Okay. Let's see if anyone knows this. <laughs> exactly. That was my um, inner thoughts. You're a psychopath. <laughs> so right now, since it is entering the early evening and I've had quite a jam-packed few weeks, I am not gonna lie, I'm not really feeling like doing uni work this evening, even though I know I do have a stack of deadlines that I need to do. However, I would like to still be quite productive this evening. So instead of doing university work, I am gonna crack on with an edit of a YouTube video that was meant to go up a few days ago, but because I'm so busy at the moment and so drained, I've had to delay it a few days. But since I've got a bit of free time before I make dinner, I'm gonna go and edit for a bit. So it's currently five to seven and I've decided I'm gonna stop editing YouTube videos for the evening and crack on and make myself some dinner because I'm starving. On the menu for tonight, is pasta. Can you tell I'm a shoe yet? <laughs> because one, I love pasta and two, I actually haven't got much in. Since it's the last week of term and I'm going home tomorrow, there was literally no point doing like a food shop if I'm not gonna be here to eat it and I don't really wanna lug it back home. So pasta it is. <laughs> you could literally hit someone with that, oh my God. Also ignore the bin behind me, okay? <laughs> Can you tell I'm a student? <laughs>
morning guys happy sunday yeah sunday no, oh my gosh as you can see from the chaos behind me i am currently in the midst of packing up basically my entire life in an hour my mom is coming to pick me up to take me home for christmas break i think i've got everything packed i just now need to do a quick run around the entire house and make sure i haven't forgotten anything because i do have quite a lot of things i want to take home i don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing i was hoping to try and keep the amount of stuff that i want to take like quite minimal but it's really hard when i'm not coming back and until like the end of January so I need to make sure I have like enough clothes all of my uni stuff and then YouTube equipment and then any presents that I bought for Christmas and so on so on it's honestly scary to think about next time I'll be in this house it's 2023 and I'll have like submitted my next set of master's degree deadlines which is terrifying bye room see you in the new year we then started the four hour journey back home while stopping off halfway to grab some dinner the weather was grim but we eventually made it home where a certain somebody was waiting for us this wraps up my first time in portsmouth though i've simply loved filming the last few weeks and i hope you've enjoyed coming along i can't wait for next time see you in the next video